So things are escalating, perhaps in ways that Trudeau did not expect. Indians are being threatened in Canada. The opposition leader is asking for proof. And his allies? Well, they're sitting this one out. So the Canadian Prime Minister is now changing his tone. He says he's not trying to provoke India. Listen to this. India, the government of India, needs to take this matter with the utmost seriousness. We are doing that. We are not uh, looking to um, provoke or escalate. We are simply laying out the facts as uh, we understand them and uh, we want to work with the government of India uh, to lay everything clear and to ensure uh, that there is proper process. No provocation, no escalation. That is Justin Trudeau's new position. I'm afraid that ship has sailed. India did not set the tone of the standoff. Trudeau did that. He stood up in his parliament. He accused India of killing the Khalistani leader. If that wasn't escalation, what is? So the fact is, Justin Trudeau chose this fight. He also chose the venue, the Parliament of Canada. Then why is he trying to downplay the whole thing now? Because he's not getting support. We told you what Canada's opposition is saying. They want Trudeau to come clean. Compare that to India's opposition. All major parties in India have rejected Canada's claim. Some have accused Justin Trudeau of defending terrorists. Same with his international allies. Canada is a very old Western partner. It is part of multiple Western alliances like NATO, the G7, Five Eyes. And normally these countries stick together. If one of them raises an allegation, the others support it. If not, they at least express solidarity. But not this time. Trudeau tried hard to get his allies on board. His game plan began even before the G20 summit. Canadian officials reached out to their U.S. counterparts. They discussed the probe into Niger's murder. Trudeau himself looped in Joe Biden and Rishi Sunak, the leaders of the U.S. and the U.K. Reports say he wanted a joint statement, but the White House refused. They said, your investigation, your statement. That was setback number one. A joint statement by Western countries would have signaled intent. Trudeau tried for it, but he failed. Nonetheless, he went ahead with the allegation. Maybe he thought that Western countries would join the condemnation later. Again, he was wrong. And that was setback number two. Let me quickly take you through what Canada's allies are saying, starting with the United States of America. And I'm quoting. We are deeply concerned about the allegations referenced by Prime Minister Trudeau. It is critical that Canada's investigation proceed. We urge the Indian government to cooperate. Standard stuff, nothing out of the ordinary. Now look at the UK statement. I'm quoting their foreign secretary, the British foreign secretary. All countries should respect sovereignty. It's important that Canada's investigation runs its course and the perpetrators be brought to justice. The statement does not even mention India. It says all countries should respect sovereignty. The UK has also refused to end trade talks with India. Both countries are negotiating a free trade agreement, India and the UK. And London says that this will continue. The Australians too are not buying Trudeau's claim. Canberra says the allegations are concerning, but the investigation is still underway. Listen to this. These are concerning uh, reports. Uh, and I note that investigations are still underway, uh, but obviously uh, these are concerning reports, and as I've said, yeah, we, have, we are monitoring these developments closely with our partners uh, and will continue to do so. Australia's Prime Minister was equally unimpressed. That's Anthony Albanese. He hosted Prime Minister Modi in the month of May this year. Back then, he called the Indian Prime Minister the boss a reporter asked him whether he regretted that statement, and this was his response. The Foreign Ministry says it's raised concerns with the Indian government about its alleged involvement in the death of a British Sikh activist in Canada. Does that concern you? Does that concern the Modi and the G20 and you regret what the Indian Seriously? You should chill out a bit. Couple of things to note here. All statements mention two things. One, the allegation is concerning, and two, we support the investigation. India won't be worried by that, but Canada will be. You know, these countries have fought wars together. These are countries bound by mutual defense treaties, yet they're on the fence. They're supporting Canada's investigation, but they're not supporting Canada. 
And there's a huge difference in the two. Supporting the investigation is Diplomacy 101, it's basic courtesy. But supporting Canada is different. It would be an expression of political support, and right now the West is not doing that. The question is why? Because Justin Trudeau is asking too much of his allies. He's asking them to throw a strategic partner under the bus, the world's largest democracy, a country that has never meddled abroad. And he's doing that without giving any proof. So the ball is now in Justin Trudeau's court. He claimed that there were, quote unquote, credible allegations against India. Now is the time to show the credible proof.